Alzheimer's disease. What is Alzheimer's disease? It is a progressive disorder that causes brain cells to degenerate and die. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. Difference between dementia and Alzheimer's. Dementia is not a specific disease. It is an overall term, sometimes referred to as the umbrella term, which describes a wide range of symptoms. Alzheimer's is the most well-known and common form of dementia, but not everyone with dementia has Alzheimer's disease. What are the symptoms of Alzheimer's? Signs and symptoms. Repeat statements and questions over and over. Forgot conversations, appointments, or events. Routinely misplaced possessions. Get lost in familiar places. Eventually forget the names of family members and everyday objects. Have trouble finding the right words to identify objects. Express thoughts. Difficulty concentrating and thinking. Multitasking is especially difficult and it may be challenging to manage finances. These difficulties may progress to an inability to recognize and deal with numbers, ability to make reasonable decisions and judgments in everyday situations will decline, more difficult to respond effectively to everyday problems. Once routine activities that require sequential steps such as planning and cooking a meal or playing a favorite game become a struggle as the disease progresses, may forget how to perform basic tasks such as dressing and bathing, changes in personality and behavior, wandering, loss on in inhibitions, delusions, aggressiveness, changes in sleep habits, depression, apathy, social withdrawal, mood swings, distrust in others, irritability, may include reading or listening to books, telling stories, and reminiscing singing, listening to music, dancing, drawing, or doing crafts. These skills may be preserved longer because they are controlled by parts of the brain affected later in the course of the disease. The Causes of Alzheimer's Disease Alzheimer's disease is caused by combination of genetic, lifestyle, and environmental factors that affect the brain over time. Problems with brain proteins that fail to function normally disrupt the work of brain cells and unleash a series of toxic events. Neurons are damaged, lose connection to each other, and eventually die. The damage most often starts in the region of the brain that controls memory, but the process begins years before the first symptoms. Loss of neurons spread in the somewhat predictable pattern to other regions of the brain. By late stage of the disease, the brain has shrunk significantly. Researchers are focused on the role of two proteins, plaques and tangles. Plaques, beta amyloid, is a leftover fragment of a larger protein. These fragments, beta amyloid, cluster together. Clusters have a toxic effect on neurons and to disrupt cells to cell communication. Amyloid plaques which also include other cellular debris. Tangles, tau proteins, play a part in the neuron's internal support and transport system to carry nutrients and other essential materials. It starts with Alzheimer's disease, and then tau proteins change shape, and then form structures called neurofibrillary tangles, and then tangles disrupt the transport system and are toxic to cells. Treatment Colonisterase inhibitors work by boosting levels of cell-to-cell -cell communication by preserving a chemical messenger that is depleted in the brain by Alzheimer's disease. Improve neuropsychiatric symptoms such as agitation or depression. The improvement is modest. Commonly pres prescribed colonisterase inhibitors Danipazil, galantamine, and revestigmine. Side effects, diarrhea, nausea, loss of appetite, and sleep disturbances. Serious side effects include cardiac arrhythmia.
memantine, works in another brain cell communication network and slows the progression of symptoms with moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease. It's sometimes used in combination with cholinesterase inhibitor, rare side effects, dizziness, and confusion. Other medications such as antidepressants may be prescribed to help control the behavioral symptoms. Creating a safe and supportive environment. Adapting the living situation to the needs of a person with Alzheimer's disease is an important part of any treatment plan. For someone with Alzheimer's, establishing and strengthening routine habits and minimizing memory demanding tasks can make life much easier. Steps to support a person's sense of well-being and continued ability to function. Always keep valuables in the same place. Keep medications in a secure location. Use a daily checklist to keep track of dosages. Carry a mobile phone with location capability so that a caregiver can track its location. Program important phone numbers into the phone. Make sure regular appointments are on the same day at the same time as much as possible. Use a calendar or whiteboard in the home to track daily schedules. Build the habit of checking off completed items. Remove excess furniture, clutter, and throw rugs. Install sturdy handrails at home. Ensure that shoes and slippers are comfortable and provide good traction. Reduce the number of mirrors. People with Alzheimer's may find images in mirror confusing and frightening. Make sure that the person with Alzheimer's carries identification. Keep photograph and meaningful objects around the house. Thank you.